I've been thinking about making longer YouTube videos for quite a few years now and I haven't because one, I just wanted to be perfect and I had so many ideas. I invested a lot, I got a new phone, I got a new laptop and everything. But if there's one thing that I learned from posting every day on TikTok and Instagram is that just like everything else, just doing it instead of making it perfect and then seeing how it goes works a lot better than trying to come up with the best topic or video. You just have to do it. So I'm just going to do it and see how it goes. So day one of being back on YouTube in terms of long video. My foggy Saturday in Toronto. So let's go. Usually I have the cups all washed up. I don't know why I didn't do this last night. This was right after I filmed that my strawberry perfume content. So let's get rid of these. One thing I learned about doing Instagram and TikTok reels, TikTok reels, <laughs> video, short video form is that some people who gets you gets you and you don't have to explain and they are very understanding for example one thing that i was thinking is it would be much me much better youtube video if i film from over there panning like what i'm doing and then like different shots but you know it's very messy today and people who understand understand these are my samples i really like scents <laughs> i used to have very large collection of miniature perfumes to perfumes i got rid of most and then now i'm back at it so it's kind of moot how i got rid of all of those but i like scent i like different things i have to put this here because i use that the most out of anything else i'm gonna do something about this oh this is quite filled up that's why i haven't put it here but i always knock these out these six very realistically oh nice crunch this is what i've been into <laughs> pan fried mandu i have some get some leftover i drank all the broth so i put chicken stock uh, black pepper and a little bit of barley powder and then i made this i don't know if i should call it shish toke but something like it like i put shish toke spice i actually put actually i shouldn't call it that um, peri peri spice as well and then realistically when i make rice i freeze them and then i portion it so that when i want rice it's an easy thing to do i was just thinking i wanted to do more aesthetically pretty like pleasing videos like in the last couple of days which you know if it happens it happens but i just know one thing that i've been wanting to do is document what i'm doing by the way, I bought a kimchi thinking it would be a good idea and then gave me a little bit of stomach issues so I let it ferment a little bit more. It's kind of edible now. One of the things that I was gonna do is watch this while I eat my food. But I think it was on Korean Netflix but it's not on Canadian Netflix because it's not there. Hmm. I'll just watch this one. So two things I want to do. I do a little bit more research on things I can do in Italy, like strawberry things I can do in Italy uh, this weekend and then get my laundry done and clean. Look at this. I just had my favorite strawberry kombucha with my meal. It's quite sweet. So surprisingly, this celery juice that I didn't like seems okay, but I do want to put, I do want to have more lemon and strawberry inside, but I was uh, trying to make almond milk, so I need to do this so that I can wash and do that and then put strawberries and lemon. So I'm also making, uh, what is this? Strawberry vanilla rubis tea. No, I love different beverages. We're going to put two dates and vanilla extract salt makes a difference over hot we'll put like a little bit and then blend there are a few things that i'm so glad i bought that's outside of strawberries and this is one of them it's supposed to be for coffee but you know multi-use 
that's what I intended to buy for as well other than other means to make coffee and this <laughs> because of the hot water because I don't want to wait until it boils and this does it super fast one of the things you do have to do is kind of like that that's the only part that's a hassle but I want strawberry matcha <laughs> I don't want to go to the store so that's okay I got blanched almond to make all these process easier than the regular raw almond that I get because then you have to peel the outer layer you don't have to but I find that the taste is a little different could be just me but I'm drinking it so I should like it we'll leave this and start cleaning let's do some laundry and then apparently I forgot about this colors yes strawberries and lemon i keep drinking the celery juice so so there's not much left so this is just gonna be like a shot of a sort it came out prettier in color than i thought let's taste it though not bad kind of confusing because it's like celery and then strawberry and lemon Hmm. much better than just celery by itself lemon and lemon and lemon Every time I'm cleaning this, I always go, what was I so busy about and in a hurry that I just did not clean this right away? Like, shouldn't have been more than a few minutes. Let's see if it's not sweet enough or that I just haven't stirred enough. Mmm, I like it. A little more would be actually pretty nice, so we'll put all of them. Oh, wait, I was going to use this for my matcha. Darn it. Well... Oh, no, 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 no. Come out, come out. Okay, it's about time I take that, take out this tea bag anyways. Taste test. Bad choice. I do like my almond milks. Always look forward to it, even though I feel like it's a lot of work just making it and cleaning up. Just gonna try this with coconut syrup just to see how I like it because I thought about mixing the almond milk with uh, strawberry jam because I just used up my strawberry maple syrup. I put a little bit of that, like a remaining of the uh, strawberry maple syrup in that bottle. So it has hint of that, but I'm feeling very lazy. So let's see how this tastes. I just remember that I put two dates in here. It might already be sweet. Okay, let's try. Mm, quite nice, but yeah, a little bit more syrup. It's because the matcha is quite strong. Whoops. <sighs> Let's try it. That's more like it. Just a little more. Mm. Perfect. This matcha latte without strawberry syrup is just not the same. Doesn't give me the similar happiness. I'm drinking it, but I'm not putting more strawberries just because it's already quite sweet, but next one will have to have strawberries in it i only have this much left and i'm kind of lazy to make its own dressing but this is what i've been doing a lot lately and it's really delicious i put strawberry and fig balsamic glaze oh strawberry strawberry fig and then strawberry rosé living vinegar I like vinegary taste. I like putting hemp seeds anywhere, I like yogurt and salad. Tahini. I'm gonna use chopsticks, olive oil, healthy amount. Healthy could mean a lot of things to a lot of people. Mix of leftover chicken and salad it is. I like these softer, tiny leaves instead of like those big ones. Very hard spinach. Oh, that's it. <sighs> Consider this a snack. Charamoke <laughs> samnida. Hey. I've been into eating walnuts lately. I don't know why, but it's good. This one's not bitter at all. Maybe that's why. Mm, so good. The thing about liking strawberries is all the <laughs> jars that you could cut you keep collecting our strawberry ones this is very sangria this is uh one that i got in quebec this one my friend got it and then this is vanilla cherry and strawberry this one was really good i'm gonna make chia seed pudding i don't know no i do know 
So the strawberry chia basil popsicle really got me interested in chia. Before, I tried chia pudding, but it wasn't like my thing. So I'm gonna make it two strawberry with Maradawa strawberry jam and two chocolate. And just so conveniently, I have protein powder too. So I'm gonna do this and then put the almond milk that I just made. Very, very, all very convenient. So let's try it. Also so conveniently, these are very strawberry. It's like strawberry first and everything else. Pretty much expected, but <laughs> that's how this household is. Okay, maybe, okay, let's do seeds first so that we don't dirty all these things. So two spoons of chia. Careful. Ah, getting everywhere. Okay, let me do that. Okay, chia seeds are in, and then now we're gonna do hemp seeds. I love the nutty flavor. I did two tablespoons of everything equal amount. I'm just gonna use this both on strawberry and chocolate because it goes really well with chocolate, but also maybe like PB&J. And I also just wanna use this one up. So probably one spoon. Let's not overpower it. And then put these in. Okay, I'm just gonna do two tablespoons of everything now. I had cinnamon sticks, so I grounded these ones up. So let's put these just here. Let's not do it in PB&J. Maybe a little? No. What would I be if I didn't put vanilla extract on all of these? A little more. And finally, strawberries. Let's do three. Was that more than three? Oh, I don't know. Almond milk. Oh, I wasn't going to use all of these up. I wanted to make more matcha. Whoops. Mix them. I'm going to try it. Taste test so that if I need to put more sweetener, I will. It's sweet enough. It's just not very strawberry. Okay, chocolate. Chocolate is chocolatey. Could be a little sweeter, but it is good. I think I just don't like the synthetic vanilla flavor from protein powder. How do I mask this? because putting more strawberry jam is just going to make it more sweet. And I forgot about flaxseed, I just grinded it. Hmm. This is my last BB Detox. I bought it because of Detox a few years ago when I was, you know, in the Detox phase, so to speak. But I love the taste so much. And when I saw this in Paris, I got like a box of it, but like a mini box. I should have gotten more. Also, today I moved this molang over here because it's right on top of the espresso machine hello so these are ready to go into the fridge now that i think about it i should have just do done one flavor in this thing and then the other but you know it's okay and then i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna do with this vanilla because i don't really like the taste of that protein vanilla but we'll see into the fridge it goes i'm re-watching my vlog i started my <laughs> strawberry pie i decided to do it when i was leaving korea and it's it's such a weird feeling watching the videos just all the things i forgot about this was good all right i tried to bring as minimal as possible but still some strawberry stuff my friends were in halifax and i couldn't go but they sent all these footages for me. I don't know why, but I'm gonna make chocolate something. I just, I make bread with the residue of the almond that I make almond milk in. And then I usually make it with baking powder, this husk, and Greek yogurt. I don't have Greek yogurt, but I had an egg, so I put egg, baking powder. I'm gonna put the extract husk, cacao powder, and the protein powder and see how that goes. I'm gonna put a little bit of like walnuts, almonds, and dates. And I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Like, is it gonna be like chocolate cake or not? I don't know, but I have some strawberries and I'm gonna put that on top and see how it goes. Usually these are pretty filling. I was originally gonna make it with coconut flour, but I think I'm just gonna see it, see how it goes. Wing this without coconut water, I mean coconut flour. I don't know, it might turn out well, kind of like brownie. It might not. I think it'll be a lighter version. Maybe. 
whenever I'm making like bread like thing it's always better when I have these husks so I'm gonna put that and then protein powder let's see I accidentally spilled cacao powder there's a lot of these it's okay I put I reserved some water here because I was trying to clear this one out I just want to see how it all turns out hopefully well we'll see I'm gonna put it in a microwave instead of oven. <laughs> Does not look appetizing, but you know, we will have to see. I put it for two minutes. Let's see. Mm, maybe a little more. No, let's try it. Doesn't look done, does it? Hmm. Mm, let's put it a little bit more. Okay. Not sure what to expect, but I'll give it a try. Oh, hot. Mmm. Actually pretty good with the date. Mmm. When there's no date, it does get bitter, so I think I'm gonna melt some chocolate. It's good though. I have this caramel version, so let's see how this tastes together. Since it wasn't a total failure, I'm gonna chop some strawberries and then eat it with the straw- I mean chocolate cake. Kind of melt- ooh, ooh. strawberries. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's very hot, but it's really good. Like caramel, chocolate, and strawberry. Oh, so good. And a little bit of like nuts here and there is also really good. So, probably make this again. Maybe I'll make this next time. Brownie, no flour, no butter, no sugar. They, I can get behind that. I add it more. I think I could even try it with coconut flour for a little bit of like chocolate and coconut -y taste. And this video is done with the brownie too. I'm getting back to my warm water state. I mean, morning routine. Sometimes I just get, I just want to eat things, so I forget. But let's do this. So I'm gonna make a very easy soup because <laughs> I'm just putting these two together. Turn it on high heat -ish. Fish is fishing. Now getting pan fried. And I got very impatient. Now we're gonna put PB Mandu. I just love the name PB I think I can do it without ladle. Let's see. Last meat. Meat. Oh yay! Lots of like pepper. Wish I had green onion. Put this over here. Oh. This is too big, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I was gonna put chopsticks here, but this is too big, so... Oh, this works out! Now that's really far away from these, but... Get my eating buddy lined up. Mmm! Mmm! It's actually perfect. This is salty, but the rice and the seaweed is not. So I'm gonna put the fish into the rice and seaweed, wrap it around like that. <laughs> and the meal with my favorite kombucha. I only have one left. Oh no. Thank you for a great time. my straw here and forgot and I got another one so good every time I wish they sold it in Canada I made some progress on the sword and clothing front but there are these like yellow marks that I want to get rid of apparently you can either try vinegar or shampoo 
for toothpaste and i have this jasmine sea strawberry shampoo that i do not like to use on my hair because it ruins my hair so maybe let's try that let's see it smells good though making cleaning part that much fun another shirt it got rid of some things but not everything so i'm gonna try toothpaste and because i usually use this i don't think i don't know if that will work so i'm gonna try this travel size maybe i'll try both one side with <laughs> strawberry toothpaste and one not okay let's try this first i've been putting this off and now i have to sort through so that i'll be organized i'm gonna put this right on my bedside for my nighttime routine i like to put this here just because it's strawberry but i don't really use it because this is not that comfortable i was gonna put it here but my friend's coming tomorrow and then i think i'm just gonna have her use it uh, when she uses the laptop so i'm gonna take this outside this place is like my steaming place it's always i think this is like higher than all the other places and it's close to the, like where I can plug stuff, so it's always being here. It's always this one that's always like folded. This one. This is my favorite sweater to wear, but I feel like I wore it too much and now there's all this, so let's try to salvage it. I was ready to kind of give up, but looks slightly better if I work on it a little bit more. Let's try this vanilla chia seed pudding. It's more pudding-like than how I saw it this morning. So it looks like this. Let's try. Mm. Mm. Taste too fake vanilla from the protein powder. Strawberries will make a difference. More strawberries than pudding. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad. Still has that like um fake vanilla thing. I'm gonna do the slices instead of smaller. So I want more strawberry flavor. Okay, one more time. Mmm. This works. Mmm. I have attempted to make just chia seed pudding in my, like all my life and I have not found the one that I really like but now that I bought chia I need to find a way to you know use it other than my popsicle although now I'm leaning more towards just making popsicle mm. this isn't bad though doesn't look appetizing but yeah. this will do i was gonna go for groceries and it was raining all day so i was like oh it must stop rain at one point so i was waiting but it doesn't look like it's gonna stop so i'm actually gonna use vanilla pancake mix and then do kimchi pancakes this is gonna be like sweet and savory and I have no idea how it's gonna go but I am hungry I want to just eat something and I don't want to order things either so we'll see how this goes mini waffle maker is easily one of my better purchases I use it so much Keep this one up and I think I might have put too much kimchi but We'll see. If so, I'll put more pancake mix. Oh, I accidentally put strawberry. Let's see. Oh. 
home. It smells kind of sweet, so I think it's going to be sweet and savory. It smells waffly and kimchi at the same time. Ooh. Okay, a little bit more. Let's try it out. Is it gonna be kimchi, sweet and savory? Exactly like pancake, but kimchi. Hmm. I actually can't taste vanilla. It just tastes like kimchi pancake that you would normally with flour. Hmm. Interesting. It's a bit salty, this kimchi. So, I'm gonna try with seed. I don't want to eat anything in my fridge and I'm so hungry and I looked at Uber Eats and nothing looks delicious either so I'm gonna make strawberry matcha I don't know what this is I need this to go down fast so that I can make the strawberry part but maybe just I'll just put it in I'll put it all here to make it maybe pretty. Hopefully it turns out pretty. Mm, it's not doing anything about the prettiness, but that's okay. This needed good matcha. This strawberry sweetness. And then put a little bit of ice. Mm. Pretty good. Not as good as strawberry maple syrup. I'm gonna drink this as I edit. I haven't posted anything on Instagram or TikTok today. Gonna get on that. This showed up on my page and then it adds strawberry jam in it, which I use strawberry jam a lot for things and I have done this before so I want to do it when I have rice cake. Instead of creating the perfect comeback vlog and because vlog is basically video and log this was my weekend just sharing my procrastination of all the cleaning that i had to do i did clean up for the most part and my friend's coming tomorrow for my um italy trip research so i feel like that's gonna get done i feel pretty good about a lot of things I did on the weekend, although it wasn't a lot. I feel more productive and organized. I I think the clothing part was what what it was that got me like the most frustrated. But here it is, not perfect and just a lot of cleaning and eating. <laughs> but hope you're having a good day and bye. Can you catch?